Data centers have taken center stage in much of the country as the debate around high electric bills is a topic for city councils and the halls of Congress. And as the demand for power grows, many people want to know who's paying for it. City councils across the country have had lots of meetings like this one in eastern Oklahoma. In Butte, Montana. Let's curb our enthusiasm a little bit. And Wisconsin. I am interested in the life that is water and our planet Mother Earth. In addition to environmental concerns, our electric bills. Every utility in the U.S., I think, right now is trying to figure out what is their strategy to accommodate uh, AI and data center demand. Michael Boyle is the acting policy team director at nonpartisan think tank Energy Innovation. Because these demands are so large and the increase is so rapid, there are big expenditures that are needed to meet this demand. And then on the other side, there's a lot of uncertainty. When is it going to show up? There is no federal registration requirements for AI data centers, making the total number difficult to estimate. But online database Data Center Map estimates there are more than 4,000 across the country. The majority are in Virginia, Texas, and California. Over the last 20 years or so, we hadn't seen any demand growth. Now is just sort of a return to what used to be business as usual in the utility industry. And we're really struggling, I think, against rules that have changed quite a bit and, and are not as oriented towards being open to build new infrastructure. That demand for power and need for infrastructure impacts our electric bill. Add in increased material costs, natural gas more expensive, and weather demands, it's the perfect storm for higher bills. The reason we're having these data centers pop up all over the United States is because all of us are demanding all this AI, ever all this information, right now, right now, right, 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 right now. And I'm just as guilty as anybody else is wanting it right on my phone like that. Holly Furfer, Scripps News Group, Atlanta. The pressure is becoming evident. More people are falling behind on their electric bills. Americans behind on their bills jumped 9.7% over the summer compared to last year. That's according to new data from the Century Foundation and advocacy group Protect Borrowers. The jump in past due bills overlaps with a 12% average jump in monthly energy bills during the same time frame. Holly Furfer, Scripps News Group, Atlanta.